Oh God, these are heavy. Why are all my books heavy? Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Abhinav. I'm a first year medical student in the MD PhD program. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about what kind of AP courses you need to do in high school in order to get into medical school. Before I get right into it, please do hit the like button and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And with that, let's get right into it. So when you first hear the topic, what kind of courses I need to get do in high school to get into medical school, you probably are thinking like, what the heck? Like you're a high schooler, like you're not supposed to know uh, what kind of career you're supposed to get into or like you shouldn't really be pounding yourself that hard in high school uh, in preparation for a medical school, especially that's like many years into the future. Well, if you really do know what you're going into, it's not harmful to actually think about what kind of courses you should do to well, be well prepared and to get your best foot forward and uh, be like, you know, very adequate with the material in preparation to apply to medical school. Obviously, there are a lot of things that you must do before getting into medical school and you need to have some sort of development in your personality to become a doctor. Medical schools are not just looking at your academics, but they're also looking at your personality and figuring out if you have the characteristics that make a great doctor. And I can make another video about that if you guys like. Please do comment down below and I could talk about what kind of personality traits and what kind of characteristics you should have um, and train yourself and work on yourself in order to best prepare for medical school interviews so that they can see that you're well fit to become a doctor. But with that being said, let's get into some of the subjects about AP courses you can take in high school. And now a lot of people probably are thinking, oh, you get the typical bio, uh, maybe chem, but there's a lot of things that you could do um, that prepare you, especially for the MCAT. Now I have some prep books here. Oh God, these are heavy. Why are all my books heavy? This is like, everyone needs to just uh, calm down and make everything electronic. But these are the APs that I took uh, back in high school. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I took AP Bio, Chemistry, Calculus, Psychology, and Statistics. And uh, I have a prep book for each of them. And I kind of want to go through each subject and pretty much tell you uh, what you should expect from the course and like how it will prepare you in the future. So the first thing is AP Bio. I think this is a pretty much a uh, standard that if you know that you're going to medical school, I think AP Bio will help you immensely. And the reason behind this is because AP Bio is, especially at the high school level, is basically the foundation for all bio topics. It really helps you um, figure out like what kind of bio that you're interested in and also gives you a foundation for all the bio that you're gonna take in the future. So I think this is like a no brainer. You should definitely take AP Bio if you wanna become a doctor. Next one is AP Chemistry. AP Chemistry is a little weird because chemistry is uh, basically the foundation of bio. If you think about the sciences, physics is the foundation of chemistry, chemistry is the foundation of bio. So bio is basically dependent on chemistry and physics. So I think chemistry is a very good tool to figure out, um, especially the biochemical basis of all diseases and uh, metabolism and things like that. So I think chemistry is a very good uh, subject to take in high school because it helps you basically understand the uh, molecular mechanisms and figure out why things are happening. Now I took AP Calculus, but you honestly don't have to. AP Calculus is very useful if you want to think about things um, in terms of rate of changes and things about data analysis and things like that. But honestly, I don't think I've ever used anything uh, beyond basic arithmetic in med school so far. So I don't think it's necessary. Uh, but it is important to know that math is a very important part of medicine and everything's all about numbers and everything's all about statistics coming up. So it's very important to make sure you still do uh, adequate math courses, um, but chemistry is not a priority, even though it was pretty fun to take. Now hopping into statistics, statistics is actually, I think, very important to take. Statistics is basically the foundation of medicine, <laughs> other than bio. I think medicine is basically a statistics game where you're looking at patterns pattern recognition and also looking at uh, cost benefit risk analysis and figuring out what kind of things are important and what kind of things you should do in order to mitigate risk and i think that's like the basis of medicine uh, or at least one of the foundational pillars um, if i had to define it so i think statistics is a great way to figure out especially if you can apply it to bi uh, biological scenarios 
it's a great way to figure out uh, how you think about things and how you mitigate risk and things like that. And uh, I think it's a very great course to take in high school. And finally is AP Psychology. AP Psychology is, I think, very important, especially for the MCAT. The MCAT has a whole so uh, sociology and psychology section. And I think this course did a great job in preparing me uh, for that because I did take psychology in college. But honestly, it was all everything I already learned in high school. So I think it's very important to take it uh, early on so that you're well prepared for college psychology and sociology, as well as doing well in the MCAT, because that's like what psychology is all about um, when you're preparing to go into medical school. It's basically the MCAT. Um, and it's also important when you're becoming a doctor because you get to see traits in people and understand where those traits are coming from and the historical significance psychologically and sociology, sociologically. Um, and it's also important to think about socioeconomic factors. Um, and that's a big part of medicine and figuring out if people can pay for their medication and what kind of uh, societal things are against certain groups of people. And uh, if there's any structural things that really are impacting people. Um, so that's why I think you should really take AP Psych. And there are other APs out there that I didn't take when I was in high school, but these are the ones that I took. Um, and they worked well for me, especially through college. First year was fairly easy because I took all these AP courses. Um, and there are others like AP Enviro, if you want to take AP Physics, if you want. Um, but I didn't really think those were necessary when I was in high school. Uh, but it might be different for you, depending on what kind of field you want to get into in the future. So please do think about other APs you could take. And honestly, you don't have to take all these APs if you don't want to. Um, you could just do them in college. I mean, I had to take the courses again in college anyway. And there's lots of people that do it that way. And it's not necessary that you need to take APs in college, uh, high school in order to do well in college and even into get, getting into med school. Um, take this uh, how you will, but these might help you in the future, um, especially if you're still in high school and thinking about medicine as a career. Uh, so that's basically it. So please do let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I read every comment. Um, and please do like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Next week, I'll be posting a review of my Galaxy uh, Tab S7 uh, FE. So please do look out for that. Um, I have some comments about that tablet. But uh, other than that, that's about it. So have a nice day.